Another post on social media Saturday night shows people helping a three year old who had been caught in some tear gas. It's been shared more than 30,000 times. It has. ABC 21's Corinne Rose spoke with the woman in the photo as well as the child's mother for this exclusive story. I was trying to go home <laughs> and were, was gassed out of my vehicle. Michelle Hensler says her three-year-old daughter Gracie is doing better a day after being hit with tear gas. She says she wasn't part of the protest but was driving to her home south of downtown when they were caught in the crossfire. Jessica Farlow says she lives near downtown and was at the protest Saturday night equipped with a bag full of first aid. I ran over immediately to help in the child's face and their entire body was red with this capsation or pepper spray. A bystander posted a photo of the aftermath, which has been shared nearly 40,000 times. You can see Jessica trying to spray a soothing mixture on Gracie to stop the burning. We spent about 10 minutes uh, dousing her in Maalox and water and milk, taking her clothes off, treating her. But the worst was yet to come. I said, she's only three. I'm not even here for the protest. We got gassed out of our vehicle. And um, he dead looked at my daughter and threw the canister in front of her and it exploded up into her face. The har hard part for me was right before the second canister came. I had given her a cough drop and she had looked at me and she said, thank you for the candy. And she was smiling again, and I felt like we had done what we came to do. She was smiling, she wasn't scared. And then the second canister exploded. And all over again, everything we had just worked for was in her lungs and on her body, and she was naked because we had already taken her clothes off. Farlow says she's still shaken by what the girl went through. When I showered last night and it burnt, I imagined those parents showering that child off and trying to explain to them why her skin is on fire. Um, and I thought of my own babies. And I thought about how many of the other kids down here didn't have somebody to help them. Gracie's mother tells us that her daughter used to love police officers, but when she saw one the next morning, she was so scared, she cried. Corinne Rose, ABC 21. Well, last night, our cameras filmed police firing tear canisters into crowds to try to get them to disperse. And all week.